And that's probably why the world's biggest toy maker, Lego, has started producing at his first Chinese plant in Jiaxing, about an hour's drive from Shanghai. And our own Cheng Lei talked to Lego CEO Jorgen Vick Nutstorp about the company's ambitions. Uh, we have about five major manufacturing sites worldwide and this is a fully functioning factory covering everything from initial molding of bricks through to decoration of bricks and eventual packaging and finished goods to the market. The factory itself is not being built to the purpose of lowering prices. We operate on a global pricing structure and the factory will fit within that scheme. So how were those initial concerns about quality, about IPR, about sustainability of, production, of producing in China addressed? So we actually uh, came to China with the view that there would be no problem on protection of intellectual property and no problem with quality because we have already used suppliers in China and we've spoken to many other companies who operate here and we've had no problems with quality. We think the quality uh, concern comes from a lack of proper management of plants, if anything. So with the systems we are implementing worldwide, we are confident that we'll be producing in a very high quality as we do everywhere else. And we feel also very well helped by the Chinese government with regards to protection of intellectual property. There are many good laws in place in the People's Republic of China to protect companies as they develop their properties and intellectual rights. So now that you are producing in Asia, are we going to see more Asian-themed content? It will not uh, be a consequence of having a factory that you'll see more Asia-based content, but certainly we're very open to exploring partnerships in Asia. Asia is, of course, a huge region with many different nationalities, many different cultures, and we're very interested in understanding how this influences not only demand in Asia, but in the rest of the world. Already for several decades we've seen properties growing out of the Japanese market that have become worldwide phenomena such as Pokemon and other interesting themes and we think in the future China will be a main, let's say, manufacturing home of interesting properties for children worldwide so we will be continuing to have dialogue with our local partners. I was speaking to the head of China's Toys Association and she says that the most popular toys right now are either STEM toys or traditional toys. Your thoughts? Absolutely. Uh, we see huge interest worldwide in, in so-called uh, science and technology engineering toys where I think because children are also interested in the digital age and parents are interested in you know, exposing their children to these sorts of things and recognize the power of play to play with things, to tinker, to experiment, to take a little bit of risk, try things out and learn through this method. And then at the same time we are seeing a resurgence of traditional toys that are based on some very fundamental values. Also because we've now been through a big first wave of adoption of digital tools and people have acquired those and now they're looking for something else in addition to those.